episode two of Road to Dakar, uh, January. So we're 12 months out from uh, the start of the rally in Saudi Arabia. I just got back from China, as you've seen in the first episode uh, last week. And um, yeah, it was good. Sponsors are obviously a big part of it, and Top One's a longtime sponsor of mine. So it was nice to go over there, spend some time with them, and talk about projects for this year. And then obviously the Dakar going forward. Um, today we're in Pala and doing some testing with the Suzuki doing a couple of video shoots and putting in some motos uh, to get ready for some other races that are coming up. crazy Mexican. Um, I met him probably five years ago, uh, shortly after I moved out here to California. Met him at a local track we were riding. Uh, he was super nice, super fun kid and uh, always stayed in touch. And then I think probably like three years ago, I needed some help in setting off road school and gave him a call and he joined me back then and uh, we've had a good run. Lots of cool projects, um, was able to kind of get him on some really cool trips. We went to Africa together, uh, traveled all over the US together doing our training camps, doing uh, building tracks, all that sort of stuff. And for me, growing up, uh, used to always ride with my brother. I always had a riding buddy. My brother used to race professionally. So growing up in Germany, it was always me and him riding and then obviously when I moved to the US him staying back in Europe um, that changed a little bit I had to go right by myself and in the beginning time to get used to that then when I met Chico um, and just kind of bumped into him randomly every weekend at the track and uh, now uh, we work together we ride together we train together and uh, it's fun kind of you know fun to have a young kid around that embraces all of it not only works hard when it comes to the business but also puts in laps enjoys it and is really grateful for what we're doing so he's going to be a big part of the next 12 months getting ready for Dakar and just the training side and um, he's raced a lot in Baja did the Baja 1000 podium that the Baja 250 so number one he's a good rider number two he's super fun to hang out with and um, three he's going to hold me accountable so it's be good Looking forward to putting in some work this year. So after watching episode one, I realized that it was lacking a little bit of narration, uh, especially when it switched over to me going to China. So going forward, um, I'm going to try to Kind of tell the story a little bit better and right now I'm packing my gear bag to fly out to India tonight. Uh, Badora International Supercross, I was asked to come back. I raced in India two years ago and um, yeah, excited. This week should be fun. It's Chico's first time going to India so he gets to track along, race his first International Supercross. Uh, so that will be wild and exciting and um, yeah. Just, just happy to go. So packing my gear bags right now and then we'll head to Los Angeles tonight uh, to fly out first thing tomorrow morning. So um, we'll check back in once we're on the road. We're in India, uh, Vadodara International Supercross. We left Los Angeles Wednesday morning, flew to New York, from New York to Mumbai, spent last night in Mumbai, and then now we're here, uh, ready for press day today, and then the main events tomorrow. So yeah, it's always pretty wild. Second time for me to come to India, and yeah, big venue. My, the track's much bigger than what we've ridden on two years ago, so 
Uh, should make for a good show. Chico's first time uh, traveling over here, so he's gonna make his Indian Supercross debut, and I think we're in for a good weekend. Chico, you ready for Indian Supercross press day? Yes, we are. About to start ripping. <laughs> <laughs> so Supercross racing in India, uh, a little bit different from like preparing for rally racing, but. Uh, for me and you know everybody else that comes out. It's always a good time I really like Ishan and his crew putting on these events and it's nice to come over here bring some international flavor and help grow the sport in a Country that has a lot of potential on the motorcycle side, but it's new to motocross and supercross racing so um, Sea time is sea time. We're here to have some fun, and I'm ready to hop on the bike and get press day going You ready for this Chico? I'm ready It's race day. So last night, as you could see in some of the footage uh, during press day, it was quite dark. There had a couple of issues with the lights, uh, so we were just taking it easy, trying to figure out the bikes, which is always yeah, a little bit of a deal coming over here. I think we got uh, like 2014 KTM 350s, and um, yeah, it's just a little bit different from what we're used to uh, trying to figure out bike setup, trying to learn the track and also just after two or three days of traveling getting back into it but it was okay now it's race day and as you can see it's already filling up we're like three hours away I think from uh, opening ceremonies and um, yeah looking forward to it should be fun unfortunately today they canceled practice so we didn't get any more seat time after press day last night but uh, same for everybody so time for a quick track walk and then get the show on the road Chico, how was your Indian Supercross debut 
Uh, it was it was a hard start. Had one crash, but you know what? We're gonna bring it better. The second one going big or going home. Yeah, rookie mistake. Thanks for that. What do you think so far? Hi. jump to the right on the finish because you came all the way across I was like this so it is packed um, the, I think it's 10 uh, over 10,000 people out here and it's just DJ's pumping two strokes are pumping and yeah we're taking thousands of selfies and pictures and um, yeah it's a big party and it's cool to see like you don't think of India as a racing or especially a super cross nation but to see what they built here and to see the kind of show that they put on for the people is it's awesome it's a lot of fun and really enjoying ourselves so. Did a couple of days of promo for uh, my project with Modo.in. Spent a couple of days in uh, Amnaba and now we're back in Mumbai ready to jump back on the plane and head home with a little treat for Chico. So we have a connection tomorrow morning in Switzerland and he's never been to Europe so we're gonna check out, have some breakfast in Zurich and with the time difference and flying back in time we're gonna start Friday morning 1 a.m. We're gonna take off here in Mumbai then have breakfast in Zurich and then land in LA Friday afternoon. So in one day we're gonna be in India, Switzerland and then eventually in the States. Uh, so a little bit of a treat for him, a little bit of a treat for myself. And that's a wrap, episode two. Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and check back next month for episode three.